Hello, hello, Gemini, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. I have already pre-shuffled your cards, so anything that falls out will be received as a message. Please also do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I post messages daily from Monday through Friday. And I also post two times. I will be posting two times a month for your mid-monthly and your beginning monthly. Please, universal energies. This is the dark truth. This is where we find out things that you cannot see, things that are hidden from you. We're walking in. Today is June 1st. It doesn't mean that the messages will happen today. It just means that this is where you are. You, got, you start off with the strength. So it's beautiful. You start off with the strength twice. This is the strength twice. This is actually... Um, this. Oh, no. Well, yes. Okay. I need to rephrase that. This is actually the strength twice. Okay. This is the nine. This is the nine. And this is the strength card. So you got the nine of wands and the strength. They're both the same thing. It's coming back from battle. It's being strong. It's standing on your own two feet. You are finally putting in the strength that you need to go forward. Jeez. Okay. Beautiful. Gemini, you have here the Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, something has come in to change your path. Your path has been changed. Your path is no longer what it once was. It might be putting you on the way to be an emperor. Please, universal energies, please give me any messages that want to come through for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, universal energies, please help me see, hear, and feel what is going on with Gemini. Gemini. Oh, these cards are so good. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have here, it could be a marriage, it could be a spiritual awakening. It could be you looking for guidance, looking for some hope, looking for some, for some answers from a spiritual group. Queen of Pentacles, this is someone who is making her own money. She is thinking about all the things that she's going to do with her money when she succeeds. I believe she's been honest with you. You have been honest with her. However, I do see that you might have been juggling a situation, juggling two women, juggling two men, trying to put things in balance. That's what you're going to be doing. That is what you're going to be doing. Let me get one more. Okay, so I got two. We'll wrap this up and then we'll do some clarifiers. Okay, so you were recently in a... You were re recently in a state where you're looking for your, oh God, you are looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. You are thinking about the past. You are in a situation where you might feel trapped about the past. You are thinking about when things used to be good, probably with this, with this hierophant. We're going to clarify. Wow. Wow. Okay. I said anything that falls out is going to be read as a message. You're dealing with someone who's probably the queen of cups. This woman is loving. She's nurturing. She's true. She is a mother. She is a wife. She is somebody who is loving, nurturing, and devoted. However, in this mix, there seems to be lies and deception. Gemini, lies and deception. Why? This is somebody who is young, optimistic, wants to play around. What is going on, Aquarius? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? We already know you are trying to maintain your strength to move forward. 
But destiny is here and it's going to change you in a different direction. Why is the why is the wheel of fortune here? What did I say? Three of three of swords. This was a third party connection. And the wheel of fortune came in to change that for you. Yeah, you were juggling a situation. I think now you want to you want to go back to your spiritual connection. You were juggling with someone. Somebody who was a little, little younger, somebody who was immature. And this is what you were looking for. This was your queen of cups. This is your wife. This, this is a marriage card. This is your, you're looking for spiritual stability. Wow. Okay. So you know what? That came to an end. This comes to an end with the wheel of fortune. You're feeling victorious. You are fucking moving forward. You are going to keep it going. Like, you know, yeah, this could be you. This could be the other person. However, this is your reading. So if you left someone behind, it was because it was time. The wheel of fortune is in your favor. It released you from that contract with this soulmate or twin flame whatever you want to call it why is the hierophant here why is the hierophant here for aquarius oh jeez okay the fool you're taking a leap of faith look at these look at these cards I want you to just take a peek. Flying away in the corner, going over, celebrating your success. I'm leaving. I'm out. You walked away from this third party situation. And if you haven't walked away, you will because you are finally looking at clarity for what it is. Now you are trying to offer something to someone and she's quite not looking. And that's the problem. When we have the things that we want, we don't take care of them. And then when we lose them, they want to be recovered. You also have here, you're standing strong against the odds. If you want this person who was in your life back, if you want them back, you are standing strong on that. Even if you believe that, even if you believe that this person is not going to take you back, you're standing strong on that decision. You are not changing your mind. You are looking for all the things that you have invested in this and you do not want to lose it. Why is the hermit here? You went into isolation. You went into isolation. And these, there's lies and deceptions here. So we're going to have to try to, we're going to have to try to clarify that. Okay, so here we go. Again, you left someone out in the cold. You left someone out in the cold. Somebody left you out in the cold. Why? Because they're looking for something better. They're looking to elevate themselves to a better position. And they can't do that if they are stuck in this. This, Like I said, this is your reading. You are elevating. You walked away from someone and left them out in the... In the you left away. You left. You left. You left. But you know what? I kind of get the feeling that if you are trying to work out this situation with this person, look at this. Jeez. If you're trying to work this out with this person, with, with your spiritual partner, your spiritual partner is now concentrating on the money she's going to make, on the beginnings that she is trying to achieve. And she's really not paying much attention. And maybe you are the one who's feeling out in the cold. You also have here a give and take relationship, thinking about the past and to a sword, a decision, a decision that had you in a stalemate position. You didn't want to go forward. You didn't want to go forward. This is being stuck. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? For Gemini. 
Oh, Gemini. Gemini, you left the situation behind. And sometimes things have a way of popping back up in your life. What did I just say? Left. You left a situation behind. You are out. You took your wagon. This is supposed to be a horse. You took your wagon and you left. This is why you went into self-isolation. You went into self-isolation because you needed to know what you had to do. And in your mind, look at this. This is beautiful. <laughs> I'm, it, it's a shame that it's a three-party situation that you left behind, but this is how you're leaving. Can't make that up. This is, this is how you're leaving. Wow. Yeah, you're looking for the past. Okay, let's see. You're looking for the past. You're looking toward the past now, now that you are out of this. I just want to know one more. Why is the moon here? This is lies and deception. Why is it here? These are things that you are holding in. You are not letting anybody know. And you're suffering through this. You're suffering through these lies and deception they actually have you going through a lot of anxiety even though i don't see here the the anxiety but look king of wands king of wands this is someone actually he's the knight i'm sorry no wonder okay he's the knight he you are oh you're going to bring in an offer and you're going to bring it fucking quick to this person because you realize now, you, now you're trying to catch up with this person that you left out in the cold. And I don't know, this person might not be willing to pay you no mind if you left this party out in, a, in the cold. If you left this party, if you gave them your back and you left them suffering with money struggles... This person is really not wanting to look back, but they are suffering. Thank you so much, uh, Gemini. I hope this was able to help you, these messages today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.